What's up? Sitting around out here doing nothing, relaxing. It's cooled off a little bit. Watching the uh, smoke from the, the uh, county landfills on fire. It's about 25 miles north of uh, Quartzsite. We can see the smoke from it. Um, I looked at it on camera. It didn't really turn out too well because it's real low to the ground right now, and it just looks like a cloud. So you can't really tell it's smoke. But nah, just sitting around, relaxing. It's finally cooled off a little bit. I think it's uh, 92 degrees right now, and it does not feel like it at all. Um, it hit 99 today. The heat's still hanging on out here. I think it's supposed to cool off next week though. Um, I don't remember. But AC's running in there for the dogs. Uh, still running it on solar. Uh, I'll be firing a generator up later just to top off what I'm using while the sun's going down. Um, probably don't really need to, but I think I'm going to anyway. But nothing really changing around here. Uh, Becky's still in uh, Indiana. She's going to be there maybe a little bit over a month maybe that's what we're shooting for um she's trying to get rid of a bunch of our crap we still got left uh, she got to take some uh, care of some doctor stuff too uh man the uh letter that we got from the irs saying that we owe back taxes of three million dollars three million six hundred and some odd thousand dollars they screwed up they need to fix it <laughs> they will <laughs> problem is though they want to charge us to fix it i don't mm, what's up with that I'm just crazy 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 they made the mistake but we got to pay for it okay whatever <laughs> 16 bucks or something like that i just imagine if it was a percentage of the three million <laughs> three million <laughs> yeah yeah like we're gonna ever owe the government 36 no, three, three point six million. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm ever gonna make that much money? <laughs> Somebody screwed up. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh yeah, but she's over there in Indiana, taking care of them things. Uh, she wanted to spend Thanksgiving with her family. Um, unfortunately, she's the only sister left, so she went back there to do that. And I'm out here with Lulu and Moose and. Our view and RV with G and Buckeye Kitty and Chunky and Panda and sitting around waiting for it to cool off. Uh, went and got the wood from the storage shed, so we got plenty of wood for some fires. It's just been too hot. It's kind of windy here the past few days, too. Um, did get turn this around, did get the clam up I don't know if that's turning out <laughs> but yeah did get the oops, wrong way got the clam up um did manage to pull that off uh my back's a little sore from it so that's kind of why I'm sitting down and not walking around out there in the desert discovered one pole went through the bottom of it and Becky gets back we take it down she's going to sew that back up because these clams are nice and everything, but if everything doesn't work the way they're supposed to on it, it's a mess. <laughs> One pole going through the bottom of it throws everything out of out of whack. Everything. Uh, got the kitchen all set up. Let's see, solar panels moved around to the back. Uh, Starlinks moved over to the front, so we got the clam up. Can get another patio mat net for out here yet. And new chairs. Boy, quartzite's rough on chairs. Let me tell you. Um, brand new chairs. The, the cheap bag chairs. Um, summer one. They won't make it through summer out here. We got two brand new ones sitting right there on the ground, and all the rubber backing is off of them. The heat just ate them up. Uh, they're just too dangerous to sit in. So we're going to save them for. Uh, Site savers is what we call them. Put them on a site. Somebody, you know, reserving a site for somebody, kind of like. <laughs> and our two uh, 
Mossy oak chairs that we have, yeah, they're not in real good shape either now. So we have to get some chairs next month. Uh, it's my fault on the Mosey Oaks one. The summer wasn't bad on them. It's just I leaned back and I stretched the arms out and tore them. <laughs> Oops, don't do that. Uh, Becky's on me all the time about it. Um, what else? A lot more people in here. We'll say that. A lot more people in here. I'm fixing to make up some hot dogs on the Blackstone back over here. Um, yeah, hot dogs and some chips and cheese dips. Maybe some cheese dogs. I don't know. I never decided yet. Normally I have cheese on my hot dogs. Uh, then, I don't know. I've been watching, what well, Becky's been going, I've been watching some 70s truckers movies like Convoy and Breaker Breaker, White Line Fever. I think it's White Line Fever. Um, Smoking the Bandit. Um, just killing time. Just killing time. Uh, that's really all you can do out here. But it's just... The population out here has exploded, like, almost overnight. But it cooled off for a little bit, and then it got hot again. <laughs> These people got pulled. <laughs> and I think next week is supposed to be back in the 70s and low 80s and that, so a lot more tolerable. That visitor this week, Boxman D stopped by, and she brought... I know I'm going to butcher this. Dirk Tenhoff and his wife. Check his channel out. Um, he does pretty good videos. Uh, they stopped by for a visit and Dirk brought breakfast. Uh, Burger King sandwiches and French toast sticks and hash browns. And, well, it was awesome. Uh, thanks for that. <laughs> it was great to meet you guys too. So, nothing really going on. Other than it's about hot dog making time. So I think I'm gonna go make me a couple hot dogs. I might even splurge and make three hot dogs. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you on the next one. How about that? <laughs> Later everybody.